Hey YouTube, how we doing? Okay, it's back on the channel. Yeah, I kind of thought I was done with Everman Jack stuff, even though I still have a deodorant to review and two body washes that I have yet to review, but it was time to try the cedar. Stay tuned after that intro, I think you already know what I'm going to say. YouTube, thanks so much for staying past that intro. Now, for you first time viewers of my channel, thank you for viewing. Seriously, this is going to be a weird one. I hope you're going to like it. Now, for you first timers and you long timers who have yet to subscribe, take a look right down below. Going to be a little channel watermark popping up. Man, hover over to click on it, should pull up subscribe. You're going to want to do that because you're going to want to come along for this ride. That way, you don't have to pray you keep accidentally finding me in your timeline. Alrighty, guys. So, we've done a lot of looking at Everyman Jack products here on the channel. Some I think are great, some I think are horrid, all right? Take a look up top. You're going to see a card for every single beard care, skin care, hair care, whatever, sitting right up there. Every single Everyman Jack product I have brought to the channel is sitting in that playlist. I was in my local Walmart, like we usually are, and I always check the beard section because you never know what you're going to find, all right? Well, I found Cedarwood. I liked it in the body wash scent. I figured, why not? I like cedar, I like woodsy products in my beard, let's bring it to the channel. Well, there's the box. You know, standard Everyman Jack box, nothing's really changed. Comes in its little, you know, one ounce amber bottle, and it has the pump top. I really like pump tops, I do. It makes the spending, the spending thing so much easier, and it doesn't seem to leave a heck of a mess. Pretty affordable. You can find it basically in all kinds of local um, stores like Target, Whole Foods, CBS, Walmart, Sprouts, Bed Bath and Beyond. Heck, you can even find it over on Amazon and have it delivered within two days if you got Prime. So that ain't too bad. Now you can find them at EverymanJack.com. They say they are made in the USA, and this is what kills me. Like with this one, this was manufactured in California with components derived from Nevada. Okay. Some of the other products we brought have been manufactured in Minnesota, over in, you know, with stuff derived from here, manufactured over there. So they are made in the USA. They just don't have like one central hub. Now, this is going to run you 10 bucks on their web store. I think that's exactly what I paid for it at Walmart. It was either 10 or 12.99. It was one of the two. So forgive me for not keeping my receipt and having it right there. Now, they like to say they are very naturally, you know, derived product, cruelty-free, no parabens, no phthalates, I hope I said that right, no dyes, no sodium lauryl sulfate, no animal testing, and they are very vegan-friendly. All right. We're going to get to all this other stuff in a moment. Trust me, we are. They are very proud to claim they are the official cleaning product of Tough Mudder. That's great. You get out there, you get muddy, you're going to want to get cleaned up. I got it. <sighs> yeah, we're getting there. It's got safflower seed oil, olive oil, naturally derived taco ferals, according to them, linseed oil. I have no idea what borage oil is. This is the only one I've ever seen it in, and no, I didn't look it up like a bad YouTuber, so I know exactly what kind of comments I'm going to get down below. Argon oil, shea butter, clary sage oil, rosemary oil, fragrance, and they say parfum. So I bet that's like French for perfume. <sighs> On their web store... It's been reviewed three times. It's got 4.9 out of 5. Now, <laughs> this is the first oil I have ever applied. When it went on my face, I hopped right back in the shower. Squirted it in the hand like I usually do. I started to rub my hands together, you know, activate everything. And instantly I went, what in the hell is that smell? It did not smell like cedar at all. It really, truly didn't. It smelled disgusting. Rubbed it into my beard, and I'm like, I, I, ugh. I seriously had to shower right after. I just gotten out of the shower, applied beard oil, and then I had to go right back in the shower to get it out of my beard. That's a first. I have only used it once. I will not use this one again. I don't know if it's been sitting around so long in a storehouse that it went rancid. Or if that's the way it's supposed to be, because even my children went, Daddy, that smells like crap. I know on this channel, 
I have been very brutal on Everman Jack because some of their products, it deserves it. Some of the other ones, I like. Like, currently, I am wearing their deodorant, you know, the charcoal activated one, and I think it's freaking phenomenal. I rotate that between the Bearded Oregon one I got and the Mountaineer brand naturally derived one that I will be bringing to the channel. So, yes, I rotate three deodorants throughout a time. This just, no. No offense, no. And that's about the only way I can put it is not just no, but hell, F bomb, no. I don't know if any of you out there have had a better experience with this one, but this was just absolutely disgusting in my beard and disgusting when I, you know, do the hands together and activated the profile. I was like, ugh. But now you know exactly how I feel about this one. They have had some successes with me, and I even have a video out there where I went, God, I'm sorry, I screwed this up. I believe it was their um, beard bomb. That at first I was going to rake them a new one, and then I had to correct myself after I did a little bit of investigating. But with that being said, I want to keep this one short because I don't want to seem like I'm just trashing the company. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, everything right down below. Have you used this one, the Cedarwood by Everyman Jack? What is your experience with it, you know? Did it smell horrible on you? Did it smell great on you? You know, I, I want to know that maybe this was just a fluke in a bottle. Because if they're marketing that, the way it smelled, like seriously, cat puke, that's not cedar. That's just a problem. All right, here we go with the wrap-up. Man, for you first-time viewers of the channel, thank you so much for watching this one. I told you it was going to be a weird one, and unfortunately it is. But I want to thank you for your time that you gave me today. I know it is your most precious commodity. Hopefully I earned a lot more of it. Now, for you first-time viewers and you long-time viewers who didn't do it at the beginning of the video, here's your second chance at redemption. Look right down there in that corner. It's going to be a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've knocked that out the way early, please destroy the bell icon that's like right next to it. That way you're going to be notified every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of videos, two. Are going to be popping up, that's right, on that side of the screen. Those are going to be ones that YouTube is going to choose from my catalog of videos that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But guys, there's my honest look at Everyman Jack's Cedarwood Hydrating Beard Oil. I give it a big... Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day today.